kids, now today I'm doing this video uh, for the third time because something keeps going wrong every time I film this, uh, that all of you have been requesting for so long and that is my weekly meal plan. Now before I go any further, I do want to point out that this might not work for everyone. Uh, you do have to keep in mind that one, I have no children, two, I work from home most of the time, and three, um, now this is just an example, this is not you know, exactly what I ate this week, only because uh, my work takes me all over the place. I travel a lot, I'm constantly in business meetings and um, in and out of the city, uh, in and out of New York City, and I also work for my husband's family business at times, so I'll be there a lot. Uh, but this is what my menu normally looks like on a week where I'm strictly either working from home or I'm at the nursery, which is my husband's family business, um, and I'm not traveling anywhere. This is what it normally looks like. Now, what works for me when I work for you, but since a lot of you have been requesting it, I feel like I'll share it with you. Now, this is what I write my weekly menu on. It's like this little thing that's got magnets in the back, and it just sticks right to my refrigerator. Now, as you'll see, I have breakfast, lunch, snack, and dinner, and they're all different colors. Now, you don't really have to do this clearly. I do it because it keeps me like, okay, I know exactly breakfast. I, I just don't have to like, okay, what's, where's breakfast? Do you know what I mean? Like, I like having everything be in a specific color. Again, you don't have to do that. So, something I want to point out is that a lot of the things that I make, um, like for example, on a weekend, if I'm not particularly busy or if I don't have anywhere to go, I like to just kind of stay at home, be in the kitchen, do a lot of prep for the week ahead. But that's when I make my meal plan is on Sundays, most of the time. And that way, if I've got time, I can start making like a pot of chili and then portion it in some like Ziploc bags or containers and put it in the freezer or I'll make a butternut squash soup and that's the same thing. Portion it, put it in, free, in the freezer and you'll have like those things to go to throughout the week if you've got a busy week coming or if you're kind of stumped for what to have for lunch. Just go into your freezer and you're good to go. Also, your pantry should be well stocked with things that you normally eat. Uh, for example, for me, I always have tons of um, like Italian tuna that's packed in olive oil. I always have that on hand. I always have capers. I've got, always got uh, some jars of olives. I've got tons of things in my pantry at all times because um, they just kind of help me uh, when I want to pull something together really quickly. So Monday, so all the breakfast from Monday through Friday are usually the same. The, uh, the only difference is on weekends I bake, whether it's a batch of muffins, whether it's uh, banana bread, for example, or my cranberry bread. Um, if I've got any of those left over, then I eat them in the morning uh, on Monday and Tuesday. I'll get a slice of my marbled cranberry bread or my banana muffins or whatever. I'll grab one of those, but I always have on hand everything I need to make my oatmeal. Now, I make my oatmeal with almond milk, so I always have a lot of those in the pantry. Uh, that's Obviously, they're not open yet, but I always have one in the fridge at all times. I always have oatmeal ready, and then there's usually any kind of fruit will work. For, like, for this time of year, I've been topping my, um, my oatmeal with apples and pears rather than blueberries or strawberries because they're out of season and they're really expensive and they don't taste really good at all. So that's usually what I go to in the morning. Now on weekends, that's different. On weekends, we sleep in a little bit. So whatever we eat on weekends is usually like a brunch and I'll make something like my French toast or like eggs benedict or something a little bit more uh, indulging and also it's usually brunch. I don't have breakfast and lunch on weekends. It's usually one. So we splurge a little. Uh, my husband and I stay in the kitchen together and we'll you know put something together uh, for, for brunch whether it's like French toast or my open face breakfast sandwich or whatever. Um, that's usually what we do on weekends but during the week we kind of keep it really simple, really minimum to minimum, minimal excuse me um, and just do like oatmeal or whatever baked goods uh, are left over from the weekend. For lunch, uh, usually lunch is something I've prepped during the weekend, like again, a soup, a chili, whatever. In the summer, and I will say that my menu changes from you know, fall and uh, winter to spring and summer, because in the summer, my go-to lunches are something like a caprese salad or something really quick and really easy, and sometimes I eat like raw, you know, just a raw salad. I don't even have to cook anything. Um, but in the winter, I usually do prep on the weekends. So for example, on a Monday, my meal will look a little something like this. Oatmeal or a muffin for breakfast, 
For lunch, I'll have something like a butternut squash soup that I made the night before or that weekend. A snack for me, I'm not a snacker. I've mentioned this a thousand times. I'm not a big believer in chips and stuff like that. Uh, so I'll have something like a piece of fruit and a, a cup of green tea or a cup of coffee, something along those lines. And then for dinner, most of the times I'll do something like a whole roast chicken with like potatoes on the side and a kale salad, which it is what I made this week. If you follow, well, if you watch my vlog, you'll know. And then what I did the next day on Tuesday for lunch, I just took leftover chicken. I just seasoned it up really nicely. I made a really nice dressing and then I just topped my kale salad with that roast chicken. So now I had a really delicious balsamic chicken kale salad for lunch on Tuesday that all came from leftovers. And then again, on Tuesday morning, same thing, either scrambled eggs or oatmeal or a muffin or whatever, just really simple. Um, that's what we had for lunch, which was a kale salad, kale and chicken salad. And then I made my Nana's sausage and lentils um, for dinner. Now what I did is I made uh, enough for four people and then we just had leftover sausage and, and lentils for Wednesday for lunch. Um, so that was because we had a really busy day with full of meetings all day. So I really didn't even want to think about having to do anything except reheat something. Uh, so leftover uh, lentils and sausage was perfect, absolutely perfect. And then for dinner, um, we did uh, so some of these recipes I really did make this week. <laughs> um, my poached halibut with some green beans on the side, some steamed green beans. So it was light, it was quick, it was delicious. I had some fresh halibut that we picked up at Whole Foods the night before. Um, so we went ahead and had that for dinner on Wednesday. Now on Thursday, same thing, oatmeal for breakfast. And I also had a ton of meetings on Thursday. So I just went in my deep freeze, in my freezer, I took out some butternut squash soup, I thawed that out, added a little bit more stock, and we had, again, butternut squash soup for lunch on Thursday. Now, if being repetitive with your meals bothers you, then you're gonna have to figure that out on your own. I personally am fine eating the same thing for lunch a couple times a week, um, especially if I am really busy, just knowing I have got stuff in the freezer, it just makes me a much happier person. So then, um, for a snack, again, a piece of fruit and a cup of green tea. And for dinner, I made chili. Chili and then an avocado and tomato salad to go along with it. And then we just ate whatever the chili we wanted and I put the rest of it in the freezer in portions because that will come in handy next week for lunch or dinner, depending on what I've got going on. Um, so then on Friday, um, it would be the same thing for breakfast. I, again, it's breakfast is the same thing every single time, pretty much, except for on weekends. Um, but on Friday, normally I make like a tuna sandwich or like my tuna baguette sandwich. We love that. And by having tuna on hand and olives and things like that just makes it really, really easy. And you can always find bread in my freezer. Again, I take a baguette, like I'll buy a couple of baguettes. I take them and then I portion them. Um, like per, you know, one piece per person. And then that way when I'm ready to make a sandwich or something, I thaw it, I pop it into the oven at 400 degrees for like five to six minutes until it gets nice and crispy on the outside. I let it cool and then I just fill it with whatever I want. So having bread in the freezer is awesome at all times. And then for dinner, I will do something like my chicken piccata with maybe my Parmesan orzo on the side. It's quick, it's easy, it's filling, and I think it's like a perfect Friday night dinner to get the, the weekend started um, on, on the right foot. And I always use a vegetable with it. Maybe it's either some steamed broccoli or some green beans or a salad or whatever. I have to have something green with pretty much every meal. Um, now Saturday, again, I we do brunch. We don't do breakfast and lunch, we just do brunch. And sometimes we go out for brunch or whatnot, but this is just, if we're gonna be home, this is what we're doing. So it could be like French toast or my panettone French toast. That's really, 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 really good. And then during the week, what I do, it, not during the week, I'm sorry, during the weekend, um, what I do in the afternoons, I bake. And that's gonna be the baked goods I have for you know Monday morning or Tuesday or whatever. Um, so whatever it might be, it could be muffins, it could be cupcakes, it could be whatever. I eat, we usually eat those during the weekend and during the week for breakfast. And then, um, so Saturday night, we could have a really sometimes uh, a lot of fun with our friends come over and do like a casual dinner. So something like my chicken and broccoli rob uh, sandwich with some roasted fries is like, Perfect, absolutely perfect. And then I'll have some baked goods that I baked 
that afternoon. So it's like you're good to go. You got your friends over, you got a nice sandwich night, watch some movies, play some board games maybe, and you are in business. And now for Sunday, uh, I do the same thing for breakfast, like I mentioned, a brunch, a bit, a heavier brunch. And then um, usually Sunday is a more of an elaborate dinner because it is time to like unwind from the week and it's time to sit down and, and, and just enjoy a really good dinner. And it's usually a big full Italian dinner because my dad might come over with my brother and my sister. Um, or Joe's family or our friends or whatever. So last week I made my sauce with meatballs and eggplant parm and broccoli rabe and chicken cutlets. Um, that's what we had for dinner last Friday, that's Sunday. Not the Sunday that just passed, but last Sunday. If you watch my vlogs, you'll know this. But yeah, and then that night, if I have time, I go ahead and I just hang out in the kitchen and cook up some stuff or I do that in the afternoon. Um, keeping things in the freezer keeping things in your pantry, uh, keeping it well stocked is essential for me. I'm a person that works all the time. I'm always on the go. I always have things to do. So there are days, even for me, where I don't even have time to think about what I have to make for lunch or dinner. But I'm not a person that goes through a drive through I'm not a person that just says, oh, let's go grab, you know, something, something quick or whatever. That's not me. I like to go to restaurants to really enjoy the experience. That's the only time you really go out to dinner. Other than that, I rely on my freezer. I rely on what's in my pantry because if you've got pasta, if you've got some canned tomatoes, if you've got bits and pieces on hand at all times, you can pull it together in a matter of seconds. And again, if you've got bread in the freezer, that's really important as well. Different cuts of meats um, that you can always prepare. Also, I like to point out that by the end of the week, you really should use up most of like, your meats and stuff in your freezer and then start fresh. You know what I mean? Then that, when you go to, to shopping that next week, you're not putting stuff in the freezer and you're like, oh, I still have this big chicken in the freezer, this packet of pork chops, or the steak. Use all of those that week and then go ahead and shop for fresh stuff and then restock your freezer. I hope this is making sense to some of you. I feel like I'm rambling on and I'm really not making sense, but basically there's not a whole lot to talk about other than, um, you know, you just have to think a little bit ahead of time and prepare really good, good meals. And as you can see too, everything is really well balanced. There's a vegetable with pretty much every, there's a vegetable or fruit with every meal I eat. Um, and as you can see from here, we don't eat pasta every day, which I know a lot of people think that I do. I don't eat pasta every single day. I don't eat bread every single day. I most certainly don't eat sweets every single day. When I look at this on my refrigerator, um, I feel like, you know, that's really good balance. And also keep in mind that portion control is really big as well. You really shouldn't be eating a bowl of chili that's this big. You should be eating a bowl of chili that's this big. So keep that in mind. Um, and also, as you can see from what I'm making, you know, from, from this week, you know, this time of year, uh, I'm really using things that are available at my supermarket. I'm using, I'm using seasonal ingredients, which means that it's going to be a much more cost effective. Like a really easy explanation is the, apples on my oatmeal. They're, the apples are so, so cheap right now versus uh, my little pack of blueberries that is $5.99. I'll probably get like two meals out of that and that's insane. So keep that in mind. If you, um, like I am someone that if I'm gonna go to a farmer's market, what I do is I don't write my menu. I buy whatever's there, I buy whatever's in season and then I come home and I look at what I bought and then I go ahead and write my weekly menu off of what I purchased. Um, if I go to my local supermarket, I already know what they have, I already know what's gonna be there, so I usually write my weekly menu ahead of time and then write my shopping list and go ahead and go shopping. So that's, I, I do it both ways, it really depends on whether I'm, where I'm going shopping. Um, but that is really pretty much it. I also wanna point out that when it comes to uh, going to the supermarket, um, uh, I, it's not that I don't like going food shopping, it's that I don't like wasting time. So go ahead and do all of your non-perishable shopping once a month, restock your pantry, restock your bathroom cabinets, you know, your soaps and all that stuff. So when you go shopping weekly, uh, you're not kind of sitting there, uh, standing there frantic like, 
I gotta get this, I gotta get this, I gotta get this. Just kind of focus on the perimeter of the supermarket. That way you never really have to go in the middle aisles. You know, your chicken stock, your pastas, your soups, your sauces, whatever you buy, those are already in your pantry. And it will cut not only so much on time, but it will also save you on money as well. Because I have been someone that in the past I've done that. And then I go ahead and I look in my pantry, it's like I've got 24 cans of tomatoes. Why am I buying tomatoes again? So do that once a month, which I do it at the first of every single month. I go ahead and do a big shopping on non-perishables. And then every week, my shopping takes me about 15 minutes. The perimeter of the supermarket is where I shop meats, cheeses, um, dairy, and uh, fruits and vegetables. That's it. And then go ahead and make yourself a weekly list, a weekly menu every week. Keep it on the fridge so you can see it every single day. And it will change the way you eat, the way you look at food, the way you cook, the way you look at prepping food. I think it will give you so much more like energy and it will, it will make you feel so much more motivated to want to eat good food and eat a balanced diet because that's really what it's all about. So I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to let you go because I feel like I probably rambled your head off. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will make sure to um, answer them maybe in the comment section or even do a future video ask, uh, answering the questions you've asked. Maybe I can even use your, your you know, address specifically to you. So um, make sure you comment down below and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.